Sailors come to the drum out of Babylon. Hobby horses foam, the dumb sky rhinoceros glum. Watch the courses of the breaker, rocking horses with the glockers. Lady Venus on the seti of the horsehair sea. Willow Tennyson in laurels rode a Gloria free. In a borealic asper came a Victoria. She knew Prince Alps tall memorial. Took the colors of the floral and the borealic iceberg floating on they see. New arisen Madame Venus for whose sake from far came the fat and zebra emperor from Zanzibar. Well, like golden bouquets lay far Asia, Africa, Cathay, all lay before that shady lady by the fibroid shaw. <laughs> Captain Fergus Stotters and a water butt came stood with Sir Bacchus for the drinking the dark plains. And the furry wind came to effect the weather like a swirl with a gold star in that. Queen Victoria sitting shocked upon a rocking horse of a wave said to Larry, the Sphinx of Gauls is as sharp as any thinks and darker greater than the drinks. What is hot as any hot and hot without remorse? Follow me, said she, and the drinks from the sea are as hot as any hot and hot and not the drinks for me. Time after the tea, through the young fields of the springing bohi, Jemima Jocasta, Dinah, and Dev walked with their father, Sir Joshua Jeb, an Admiral Red, whose only notion a butterfly poised on the pigtail ocean. It's of the perruped sea whose swell breaks on the flowerless rocks of hell. Under the thin trees, Deb and Dinah, Jemima, Jocasta walked and fingered their black hair seam, flat sleek to see that the young leaves of the springing bohe, their cheeks were like nut, make flowers when swells the rain into foolish silver bells they said if the door you would only slam or if papa you would once say dumb instead of merely roaring a fast or boldly invoking the nautical blast we should now stand in the street of hell watching siesta shutters that fell with a noise like amber softly sliding or moon-like glances through these glidings would see at her table preened and set marina sitting at her toilette eyelids close as softly as breeze that flows from the flowers incense tree The Admiral said you could never call, I assure you it would not do at all. She gets down from table without saying please, forgets her prayers to cross her teeth. In short, her scandalous reputation has shocked the whole of the hellless nation. And every turn but Chenoseri, with whom we should sip our black bohi, would stretch out his semi and fingers thin to scratch you, my dears, like a man. Mandolin. For hell is just as a properly proper as Greenwich or as Bath or Joppa. What are you staring at, Mariner Man? Wrinkled the sea sand and old as the sea. Those trains will run over their tails if they can. Snorting and porping and porpoises flee. The burly, the whirly gig wheels of the train, as round as the world and as large again. Running halfway over to Babylon down, through fields of clover to gay Troy town. A puffing their smoke as gray as the curl on my forehead, as wrinkled as sands of the sea. But what can that matter to you? my girl, and what can that matter to me?
Long steel grass, the white soldiers pass. The light is braying like an ass. See? The tall Spanish jade, with hair as black as nightshade, worn as a cockade, flee! Her eyes gasconade, her gowns parade, as stiff as a brigade, tee The hard and braying light is zebra black and white, it will take away the slight and free. Tinder the mouth, organ sound, oyster star notes oozing round, her flounces as they sweep the ground. The trumpet and the drum and the martial cornet come to make the people dumb, but we won't wait for Slyfoot night, moonlight watered, milk white bright, to make clear the declaration of our Paphian vocation beside the castaneted sea. Where Stocksil Cometonio swaggered Bragadocio, sword and mustachio, he is green as a cassada, and his hair is an armada. To the jay, come kiss me harder, he called across the battlements as she heard our voices thin and shrill as the steely grasses thrill. All the sound of the Yonika when the folk has the pika and the palace of the Queen Chinese. Trellises of the heat, Dolores, Inez, Manucha, Isabel, Lucha, mock time that flies. Lovely bird, will you stay and sing? Flirting your sheen and wing, peck with your beak and cling to our balcony. They flirt their fans flaunting. Oh, silence, enchanting as music, then slanting their eyes. Like gilded or emerald grapes, they take mantillas capes, hiding their simian shaped sides. Each lady, our spadil is done. Dance the quadrille from Pell's house to Seville. Surprise, their siestas, Dolores said. Through gilded trellises of the heat, spangles pelt down through the tangles of bellflowers and each tangles of her castanet. Shutters, wild peat mutters, sounds like a mandolin or tinkled tambourine. Ladies, time dies. Dawn Pasquito arrived at the seaside where the donkeys high tide braid. He saw the bandito Joe in a black cape, slack shape waves like the sea. Thetis wrote a treatise noting wheat is silver like the sea. The lovely cheetah sweet as phone and wrote his notices that she will steal the weak king's grudge like Babel before the League of Nations grew. So Joe put the luggage and the label in the pocket of Flo the kangaroo. Through trees like rich hotels that bode of dreamless ease fled she. Carrying the load and goading the road through the marine scene to the sea. 
jump a steep toe, the road is eloping. With your luggage, though heavy and large, you must follow and leave your moping. Right to my guidance and charge. When dawn passed, return from the road's end, where vanilla-colored ladies ride. From Sevilla, his mantiered bride and young friend were forgetting their mentor and guide. For the lady and her friend from La Touque, in the very shady trees upon the sand, were plucking a white satin bouquet of foam while the sand's brassy band blared in the wind. Don Pesquito hid where the leaves drip with sweet. <laughs> but a word stung him like a mosquito. For what they hear, they repeat. Jumbo was sleep, gray leaves, thick foot as his ears, keep conversations blurred and thicker than hide is the trumpet in water. Don Pusquito's bride and his youngest daughter. Watch the leaves, elephantine gray. What is it grieves in the torrid? Snores, harsh and inimical in sleepy pool. And why should the spine flowers red as a soldier make Don Pasquito still seem more? In the room of the palace, black Mrs. Pichima gave way to rot and the wildest malice. Cried Mrs. Pichima, come, 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 court lady, doom like a moth through palace room shady. The candle flame seemed a yellow pumpkin, sharp as a scorpion, nobody came. Only a bug bear air unkind that Buckford Papoose, the young spring wind, blew out the candle. Where is it gone? To flat caramandel rolling on. Where the satyrs are chattering, nymphs with their flattering, glimpse of the forest in hands, all the beauty of marrow and cucumber narrow, and Siri will join in the dance. Where the sedges can flatter the flat leaf fruit and the gherkin green in the marrow, said Queen Venus, Silenus, will settle between us the gourd and the cucumber narrow. See, like palaces hid in the lake, they shake, these greenhouses shot by her arrow, narrow the gardener seizes the creases, like creases for gilding the pouting shed barrow. Where the radish roots and strawberry fruits feel the nymphs high boots in the glade trampling and sampling mazurkas katukas and turkas krakowiaks hid in the shade where in the haycocks the nymphies is where gowns that are looped over bright yellow petticoats gaiters of leather and pheasants tail feathers and straw hats bewildering many a leathern bat there they hay make cowers and wines and showers dews and the dogs bring red flowers Pumpkin and marrow 
any cucumber narrow have grown through the spangled June hours. Melon as dark as haze, half full that fountain ways, thick as scold honey, and wrinkled as dark as pan. Poor old Silenus, yet youthful as Venus, a gourds and the wrinkled figs, whence all the jewels ran. Said Queen Venus, Silenus, will settle between us, the nymphs' disobedience forestall. With my bow and my quiver, for each flavor liver, for I don't understand it at all. And Alice, oh, the pretty lassies, with their mouths like a callus, and their hair a golden palace, though my heart like a lovely wind they blow. Though I am black and not comely, though I am black as the darkest trees, I have swarms of gold that will fly like honeybees. By the rivers of the sun, I will feed my words until they skip like those fleeced lambs, the waterfalls and the rivers horned rams. Then for all my darkness I shall be the peacefulness of a lovely tree a tree wherein the golden birds are singing in the darkest branches. Was the flood and the pastel snow to people go? And do you remember when last we wandered the shore? Ah, no, for it is cold hearted December. like an ass ears hung on the trees when last we wandered and squandered the here. Now, might as your husband will listen for these whispers, these tears of joy be. And as they walk, they sing pagodas, and all the ropes let down from the cloud ring the hard cold tails rope on the trees overtones ecstasies crowns for love and shroud That hob-nailed goblin, that bob-tailed hob, said it's time I began to rob. For strawberries bob hobnob with the pearls of cream, like the curls of the dairy girls. And flushed with the wheat and fruitish ripe are the gowns of the maids who dance to the pipe. Chase a maid, she's afraid. Go gather a bob cherry kiss from a tree, but don't, I prithee, come bothering me, she said as she fled. The snouted satyrs drink clouted cream neath the chestnut trees as thick as a dream. So I went and lent where none but the doltish, coltish wind nuzzled my hand for what it could find. As I neighed, 
I said, don't touch me, sir. Don't touch me, I say. You'll tumble my strawberries into the hay. Those snow mounds of silver that be the spring has sucked his sweetness from. I will bring with fair haired plants and with apples chill for the great god Pan's high altar I'll spill not one. So in fun, we rolled on the grass and began to run, chasing that gaudy satyr, the sun. Over the haycocks, away we ran, crying, here be berries as sunburnt as pan. But Silenus has seen us. He runs like the rough satyr's son. La-la-la-la-la-la! See me dance the polka, said Mr. Wag like a bear, with my top hat and my whiskers that tra la 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 trap the fair. Where the waves seem chiming haycocks, I danced the polka there. Stand we ran children in the gay frocks, maroon and marine and stare. To see me fire my pistol, be the distance blue as my coat. Like Wellington Byron, the Marquis of Bisto, busby great trees float. While the wheezing hoody gurdy of the marine wan blows me to the tune of any Rooney sturdy over the sheaths of the sea. And bright as a sheets and packet with zinnias, candy tufts chill is Mrs. Merigold's jacket as she gapes at the indoor still. Were it dawn in the box of a sailor, blue were the decks of the sea. Nelson awoke, crowed like the cocks, then back to the deck scene key. And Robinson Crusoe, Russo, the bright and foxy beer. But he finds fresh isles and negro smiles, the foxy doxy dear. As they watch me dance the polka, said Mr. Wag like a bear. In my top hat and my whiskers that tra la 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 trap the fair. Tra la 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 la, tra la 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 la, tra la 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 la. Crying the navy blue ghost of Mr. Bill Acker, the allegro negro cocktail shaker. Why did the cock crow? Why am I lost on the endless road to infinity tossed? The tropical leaves are whispering white as water I raise the wind in my flight down the promenade edging the far of sand is the foam of the sirens metropole and grand as I race through the leaves as white as water my ghost flowed over a nursery maid cut her there I saw the lone grass weep where the guinea for plumage houses sleep and the sweet ring doves of cursed milk what in the fantas count of silk in the ghost room tower where the governante whispers slightly fading andante In at the window, then look he, the navy blue ghost of Mr. Bill Acker, the allegro negro cocktail shaker. And his flattened face like the moon sashi, rhinoceros black, yet flowing like the sea. Something lies beyond the scene, the green terrain, the rain of scene, horizon. 
In hell, black is a vice, and see the tall black aga on the sofa, and the aga moves his bell robe. Mark says, clear as a great bell, waves in 1818, balls was gone. Late with tambourines, a rustling foam, they answer to the name of ancient names and chains, and only call horizons their home. Cozy-wees, Chinese, the seeds that like are the trees that dance the breeze is seeking for horizons wide, for her horizons. In her white vermilion pavilion by the seaside, the doors cling open and hide where the wind died. Nothing but the princess talk the Christ theme, dancing act the prize to the wind's tambourine. light blue, like the thin pleated leaves that the castle crags grew, a velours de frond of water god's lands, her hair seemed gold trees on the honey cell sand, when the thickest gold spangles on deep water seen were like twanging guitar and like cold mandoline, and the nymphs of great caves with hair like gold waves, a Venus wore tarts of tea. Lewis and Charlotte, Borea's daughters, and the nymphs of deep waters, the nymph Taglioni, Grisi, the young Dean, where plated Victoria and thin Clementine, like the crenoline waterfalls. Wood nymphs wear bonnets, shawls, elegant parasols, floating are seen. The Amazons wear balzarine of jean -Phil. Beside the blonde lace of a deep falling rain. <laughs> Through glades like a nun, they run from and shun the enormous and gold rayed rustling sun. And the nymphs of the fountains descend from the mountains like elegant willows on the deep barrage willows. In cashmere, Elvanda, barrage, Isabel, like bells of bright water from clearest wood well. Our elegance favoring bonnets of blonde, the stars in their apiaries, sylphs in their aviaries, seeing them spangle these and the sylphs spawn from the aviaries fanned with each long fluid hand. The manto espanols mimic the waterfalls over the long and light summer land. So Daisy and Lily, lazy and silly, walk by the shore of the wan grassy sea, talking once more neath a swan bosom tree. Rose castles, turels, those fossils, morels, of their shade in their train follow. Ladies, how vain, hollow. Gone is the sweet swallow. Gone, Philomel. We bear velvet cream, green and baby. Small leaves seem each stream, horses' tails that swish, and the chimes remind us of sweet birds singing like the jangling bells on rose trees ringing. Man must say farewell, 
to parents now, and to William Tell, and to Mrs. Cow. Man must say farewell to storks and bets, and to roses, bells, and statuettes, forests white and black, in spring a blue, with forget-me-nots, and to lovers true, still the sweet bird begs, and tries to cousin them by angels' eggs sold by the dozen. Gone are clouds like inns on the garden brinks, and the mountain gins Ganymede sells drinks, while the days seem grey, and his heart of ice, grey as chamois or the advice. And the mountain streams like cowbells sound, tira lira drowned in the waiter's dreams. Who has gone beyond the forest ways while his true and fond ones seek their graves? Take a bath in Gordon, Jordan, on the holy Sabbath, on the peaceful day, said the huntsman laying on his old bed pipe, boring to death the pheasant and the snipe, boring the ptarmigan and grouse for fun, boring them worse than a nine-bore gun, till the flaxen leaves where the prunes are ripe, heard the tartan wind a droning through the pipe, and they heard MacPherson say, where do the waves go, what hotels? Dry their bustles and the gay umbrellas, and won't there be room? Won't there be room? Won't there be room for me? There is a hotel at Ostend, cold as the wind without an end, haunted by ghostly poor relations of Bostonian conversations, bagpipes rotting through the walls, and there the pearl ropes fall like shawls, with a noise like marine waterfalls, and another little drink wouldn't do us any harm pierces through the sabbatical calm, and that is the place for me. So do not take a bath in Jordan, Gordon, on the Holy Sabbath, on the peaceful day, or you'll never go to heaven, Gordon McPherson, and speaking purely as a private person, that is the place, that is the place, that is the place for me. Longing to be a lazy lady, walked by the cupola gables in the lake's Gordon stables. In a fairy tale like heat intense, and the mist in the woods went across the fence. The children gathering strawberries were changed by the heat into negresses, though their fair hair shines there like gold haired plants. Calliope, Eopa, Mona, Eteope, Eo, and Clacko. The lily o grady, silly and shady, sauntered along like a lazy lady. Beside the waves, haycocks her gown with tucks, was satin the color of shining green ducks. Her folderol, parasol, was a great gold sun under a haycock shining. And she was a negress, black as a shade, that time on the brightest lady laid. That a satyr dog hair as trunks of trees began to flatter, began to tease. And she ran like a nymphs with golden foot that trampled the strawberry golden cutler with the thick gold dew as bright as the mesh of dead Penelope's golden flesh. Made from the music whence were born, Memphis had these in the first hot horn and ran to wake in the lake where the water ripples seemed hate to rake. And Charlatine, Adeline, round rose bubbling Victorine, and the other fish express a wish for mastic mantles and gowns with a swish, and bright and slight as the posies of buttercups and of roses, and buds of the wildwood lilies, they chase her as frisky as fillies. 
the red retriever head satyr can whine and tease her and flatter. But Lily O'Grady's lazy, lazy sea is a lazy lady. Now Pomfrey's dead, home is red. Heliogobble has lost his head, and the shade is on the brightest wing, and dust forbids the birds to sing. and feather corn, the unicorns have stored for long, smug-faced sheep, shit and sleep, Terry wig that's William and Mary weep, Sally, Mary, Marty, what's the matter, why cry, the huntsman and the rain are colored sun, and I sigh, oh, the nursery maid make thread a leg like a pig. Chase the feather, dreams like hens, and when laid eggs in the sheepskin meadows where the serene King James would steer horse and hounds, then he from the shade of a tree pick it up, spoil the boy, a nursery tea, said the mourners. In the corn tower strain, feather tall as a crane. A whistling down the feather rain, oh no, what goes again? An old doll mom with a head like a palm. Seeing the world as a bare egg, laid by the feather egg, meg, beg, with these for the nursery teas. Of Jaffa, Shem, and Ham gave underneath the trees, where the boiling water, the boiling water hays. Like the Gun King's feather daughter, feather daughter kissed. Pot and pan and copper kettle, put them on the proper meadow. Let the flood, the flood, the flood gen again through these, again through these. In the hotel, and here were the prostrating first, the blue as the gundery, right where the waves of the sea, rocking and shocking and farming. Nobody comes to give him his rum, but the rim of the sky, hippopotamus glum, enhances the chances of blessing with venice and alphas and tennis and crossing the barleys with cold vegetation, a build of tennis and tennis and tennis and sign with the memory and hopping with glory and trip flowers speak. Moving in classical theaters, like Balaklava, the lava came down from the roof and the sea to work in the garden. He took them in charge with the fish, Castle of Abram. None of them come. 